Happy Hump Day! Hi. Happy Wednesday, everyone. How are you, Jacas? Oh, our AC slash heater is being fixed. Oh. So <laughs> it's cold there. It's cold. Um, I have my uh, I have my fake fur ready oh, beside me. <laughs> Yes. Sinabi pa talaga yung fake eh, no? So anyways, oh, yeah. kumusta po kayong lahat? Kumusta ka, Jcas? Kumusta po kayong lahat? And it's 9.15 actually dito po sa amin, dito sa East Coast. So, good evening sa aming dearest USA. At good morning naman po sa Pilipinas. It's 10.30 a.m. Samahan niyo po kami while nagbe-breakfast kayo or on your way to work. At naku po, ang ating special guest is... For sure, marami kayo matutunan. You will learn a lot from our guest because ako din, personally, I want to pick her brains. Like how she made it to the top. What about yes. you, J.Cass? At saka, <laughs> wala <laughs> ano lang. Ano ba? Parang may dumaang anghel. Oo <laughs> nga. <laughs> Hindi. Ano ko lang, kunwari lang yan. At good morning po sa lahat ng mga Filipinos and non-Filipinos in different time zones, in different continents, in different galaxies, and the universe! Burs, burs, burs. Burs. <laughs> so anyways, before po natin i-introduce ang ating special guest, actually na excited ako kasi talagang for the second time na niya to, no? Tsaka I know. Ang napakabait, napaka-humble. Diba? Yes. Teka, mag-high muna tayo sa mga nanonood niya. Wait, tignan natin Hi, nga pala. Hi, I'm our dearest beautiful girlfriend, Miss Lali Amante. Hey, Lali. Nandiyan ka ba sa Manhattan ngayon, no? Good evening, everyone. Nasa scooter pa rin siya. <laughs> yes, nasa scooter pa rin siya. Oo. Liza Divina Gracia Trin. Dad. God bless everyone. Hi. Hi, thank you for tuning in. At Tita Maha. Hi, Tita Maha. Ang aming friend, si Ramin. Si Ramin. Hey, hey guys. guys. <laughs> Sabi ni Liza, ganda talaga ni Miss Jen. Sino si Miss Jen? Ay, baka ikaw yun. Jane ah, ako, ako, Cass. Ako si Jen. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, Jane Cass. Oo, oh, oo. Oh. Uy, Tess Abontan mo, De La Cruz. Hi. Hi, Tess. Hello, kumusta, kumusta? So, ito po, i-introduce ko na ang ating special guest for... Tonight, okay. Our special guest for tonight is a Filipino-born American businesswoman who is the widow of TLC Beatrice founder and CEO Reginald Luis. She earned her bachelor's in humanities from St. Teresa's College in Quezon City and finished bachelor's of law from the University of the Philippines, Diliman. She placed seventh in the bar exams, conducting in 1967. In 1974, she became the first Asian woman to pass the New York bar, making her eligible to practice law in both the Philippines and in the United States. She began to work uh, for the Law Student Civil Research Council in New York and then as an attorney for the Immigration and Naturalization Services from 1979 until 1987. She has had a major impact as an immigration lawyer, particularly when it comes to the rights of Filipino immigrants living in America. She co-wrote the book How to Get a Green Card with, I'm sorry, I, I don't, parang mali ata kung Ipapronounce ko to. Leona? Is it Leona? Leona. Leo, Leona Bray, JD, which is now on its 12th edition. She has spoken to audiences around the United States and the world to promote the biography of her late husband, Why Should White Guys Have All the Fun? The book is all about how Reginald Lewis created a billion-dollar business empire which helped all minorities and who wanted to make it big. After her husband's death, she also became active in political causes. In 2000, she became the national chairwoman of NAFA, which is the National Federation of Filipino-American Association, where she played a crucial role in bringing Hillary Clinton, who was the first lady at that time, to the Federation's third conference in New York. She also advocated for dual citizenship and overseas voting during Philippine national elections, stating that Filipino Americans have an important role to play in making sure that the elected officials are accountable to the Filipino people. She is currently the chairwoman of Reginald F. Lewis Foundation, which also supports in the Reginald F. F. Lewis um, College of Business in Virginia State University. We are humbled. 
to have to have her for the second time around second time na to kasi first was with Tito Boy Tito Boy Abunda yes yes but this time we will find out the other side of her mm -hmm. guys please welcome Mrs. Miss Lloyd Lloyd Nicholas Nicholas Louis I know, kinakabahan ako kasi napaka... Hi, just ko po. It's an honor, di ba? Hi, Mrs. Louise. Mrs. Louise. Hala. Nag-hang si Mrs. Louise. Hala ka. Hi, Mrs. Louise. Ang ganda Mrs. ng Louise, smile niya. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you, oh, oh. thank Mrs. you Mrs. very Louise much, Jessie. Mrs. Louise, nag-hang ka. Ayan. And Jay Cass. Eh. Salamat. Oh, ang saya-saya ninyong dalawa. Ay, naku, laganda po kami lagi. <laughs> makulit, makulit. Mrs. Louise, nag-hang ka. I think Can she needs to refresh, no? Uh, nag-hang po kayo. Pero nag-hang po kayo. I think you need to refresh, no? I-refresh na lang muna. Uh -oh. oh my Mrs. God. Mrs. Louise, refresh na, na naman. Oh Ay, my no? God. Sana pala pumunta na lang kami dyan para nakipag-inuman sa inyo. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. so, oh, oh. oh, oh. Kailangan lang po i-ano. Yes. So habang yeah. ni-refresh na Mrs. Sorry Louise. Sorry lang, ha? Sorry. Oy, okay lang. It's okay. okay it lang. happens po. Okay lang. Yes. I know. Okay lang po. Si Tess, uh, we'd like to say uh, oh. hi, Tess, again. Ati Tess Montanmo de la Cruz. Ati Marisa again. Del Mar is here. I have to start again. I'm so sorry. Yes, okay Please lang po. Please give my excuse to your people. Thank oh, you. Oh, no um, problem po. Go lang. No problem. Go lang, go lang. So, while nagli-refresh si Mrs. Louis. Bye-bye. Yes, magpahid muna tayo kay Ate Marisa Del Mar. Hello. Hi, Ate, Ate Marisa. Marisa. Over glass or two. Yes, we love you. We love It's you. It's been a while po. Kumusta? Oo. Oh, oh. Sabi ni Lali, ang fresh mo daw mukhang, ang fresh well, mo daw. Mm -mm, yun na. <laughs> oh, oh. Talaga. Jerry C. Wally C. Hi, Jerry. Hello. Kumusta? Hi, Jerry. And of course, Edwin Hoswe. Oh, my God. And Edwin, of course. Oo, oh, oh, ang power duo ng New York City. Ate Pilar And Ate here. Pilar. Hi, Ate Pilar. The ultra Pilar. publicist. In yes. the Philippines. <laughs> oh, naman. At and, and, andito ba si Weng Weng, si Wena? Oh, oh si Smurfy na lang. <laughs> oh, oh. And before anything else, guys, uh, while we're waiting for Mrs. Louise, we would. Oh, si Icha na di dito. Hi, Icha. Hi, Icha. I love ya. Oh, oh. We would like to say hi to everyone in the Philippines and all over the world. Kasi po tomorrow morning, actually, dito sa US, it's so early. It's 9 a.m. So, uh, yung mga taga US at tulog pa, or you're still on your way to work. Um, just watch the replay, and in the Philippines, it's gonna be at um, 10, um, 10 p.m. So, ang, my God, ang talagang, ano to, internet sensation, si Miss, ano, Miss Everything. Uh, hi, Miss everything. everything. Si Miss Everything, yes, na nako naman. Sabi ni Asosyon Amorin Robleza, Hi, Jessica, guwapa ni mo. Alok, ginoo. Ako, ako, yata, ako yata yan kasi yung spelling E eh. Ko, uy. <laughs> <laughs> Inagaw talaga. Dili ko, uy. Si, si Jessie, si Jekas ang guwapa. Dili ko. O, o, pa, second lang ko. Bisaya. Sa mga Bisaya, di ha, kumusta naman mo tanan? Sa mga Bisaya, dili sa US, mm. sa Pilipinas, bisag sa asa, sa bundo, ginoo. Kumusta naman mo? Pagtanaw o over a glass or two, kay for sure, maganahan gud mo. Kay ang atu ang, ang, atu ang uh, guest for tonight is... My God, one of the most influential, talagang powerful and women billionaire in, and Pinay billionaire in the U.S. Yes, in the U.S. Oh, yun dito si Tatay Vince. Hi, Tatay Vince. Hi, Tatay Vince. Wala pa si Miss Lloyd eh. Oo, iniintay namin. So, oo. tapos sa Friday naman, we have a, oh, pumapasok pa sila. On Friday, we have a guest, Um, my God, ito pa, si, isa rin sikat na sikat naman sa Pilipinas. Oh my God. Miss Jane Oneza. Oneza. Andam, Oneza. Oo nga, ah, nag, ano, nagwawala yung mga kanyang mga fans. Mga fans, silang dalawa ni Parke. Sa, oh, Malalaman natin kung sila ba talaga. Ano ba ang sikreto? Ano ba? <laughs> Ibubunyag na ba? Bumutas my Friday. mouth is, is shut. shut. Kalau mau elam aku ini. Oh, enggak elam. Hi, Cory is here. Hi, Cory. We love ya. Oi, teka, si Cory kena. Ini aku pernah kita video kena tayatanya yang ano, yang paubaya bayon. Di bawah kena kena tu sa inyo na kay Moira yang pina ka nak kaiyak na OPM song sa ngayon. Oh wow. Oi, uh -oh. teka Cory, adin ka namin. Ah, uh, Cory, uh, si Papa Lucas in invite namin, invite kita namin ha. Kasi ano, for for December, for our December special. Kasi kailangan yung i-serenade. Eh. My god, pag narinig niyo po ang boses ni Cory Miranda. Ano okay, Cory, Cory kailangan Cory kailangan naka-ano ka, naka-red gown. 
Oh, oh. Kasi oh, Christmas. Napakagalang ko, ha? ha? Oh, oh. Kasi Christmas, <laughs> eh. Paubaya. Oo oh, oh, nga, no? Asan na si Mrs. <laughs> Louis? So anyways, teka, kumusta ang ano mo? Ang on your way home? <laughs> Ilang days ka rin dito, eh, no, J.Cass? Nakapag-start ka na ba ng ano? Ng, ng Christmas gift? Kayo po, nag-start na kayo ng Christmas gift? Hindi pa? Mag-buy? Sino nakapag-start na? Ako, Mag- hindi Sila pa. mag-buy ng Ay, Christmas gifts? Oo, oh, sabi ni Lali, oh, nakaiyak ako kay Cory na mapanakit o oh, panonoorin. Oo, oh, nangaano si Cory with the Ay, with the ba? song eh. Oo, oh, oh, ba? Naku yeah, naman. Galing panon- sa puso. Galing sa puso. Puso ba or pusod? Mm-hmm. Oh, nandito si Marga. I'm seeing you, Marga. Hello, oh, Marga Miss Marga Hi, Marga. Uy, yung inaanak natin, hindi pa natin pinupuntan. Eh, Marga, dadalawin na namin, promise. Pupunta kami dyan. <clears throat> Oo. Oh. At saka, alam mo, ito pala. About sa ano, sa, ay, sabi, yes, nabigay ko na gift sa iba. Oo nga eh, parang tito, Ate Pilar, ay, naku, may gift kami sa'yo, Ate Pilar, ha? Alam na this. Oo, sabi, Ate Pilar, <laughs> yung gift namin sa sa'yo mahaba. Tsaka ah, ano. Ay, Diyos ko, bakit ko talaga. <laughs> yeah, we miss you too, Marga. <laughs> My God. Oh, Jekas, ang ano pala, ang, sabihin na natin yung mga ibang special guest natin na coming. Dulce is also coming. We will, we will, we will interview her on Saturday, Saturday. Saturday morning. morning. So we have Miss Ev- Hi, Miss Everything tomorrow. On Friday is Miss um Onyeza, Jane Onyeza. Um on uh Saturday is Dulce and on Sunday magtutugtugan naman tayo. Sunday. The Crib Band. Sunday crib night band. dito, Monday naman sa Pilipinas. Mm-mm. And by next week, I believe we will have Noy Volante, no, um Josie Harrison. Harrison, the mom of Jokoy. Uh, who else? Uh, oh my God, we have a lot of special guests coming. Especially for Christmas. Yan. Sabi yung tipong wala namang pinagdadaanan tapos naririnig ko voice ni Cory. Oo nga eh, talagang... Hi, ah, I know. Si Ms. Hi, Elton. Yes, Ms. Dulce Maria Teresa Magdalena. Do you guys know? Oh, si Elton. Hi, Elton. Wala pa si Mrs. Lloyd eh. I Nag-refresh know, naka, pa. Ano kasi, nag-refresh pa. I don't know. Kanina okay eh. Well, this is live, so that's why it, it's like this, no? Ay, Isabel Sandoval. Oh, Isabel Sandoval is here. Um, uh, Francia, uh, look up. Uh, what? Lingua. Lingua Francia, yes. The, the star Afranca and director ba? and producer yes. of Lingua Franca. Lingua Franca is coming. And who else is coming? Na mga aabangan nila. Leia Patricio is coming here. Um, We're trying our best to get um, yung mga basta, yung mga special na inaabangan ng lahat. Si Santa Claus po! Si Santa Claus po. <laughs> Bababa po, galing sa... Sabi naman sa inyo, hindi North kami namimili Pole. dito, di ba? Oo, oo. Oh, oh. sino pwede po. Oo, oh, oh. oh. siya po ang nag-beg, magpa-interview si Santa Claus. Kasi wala pa si Mrs. Lloyd, eh, kasi um, Miss Luisa Nag- ka ha. Si, Miss, si Miss Lloyd si Mrs. po ay nagbibilang pa po na kanya mga gold bars <laughs> habang nagre-refresh. <laughs> si Mrs. Lewis, I know. <laughs> Teka, oo. Oh, oh, na... Pero alam mo, J. Cass, what I admire about Mrs. Lewis, it's be... like sobrang... Like, she's so humble in spite mm-hmm. of, di ba, yung mga gold bars niya na naka... <laughs> naka <laughs> Tanong na. Naka... <laughs> Matanong ko kaya mamaya yun. <laughs> naka, naka-ikot sa kanyang balay at may Mahamton's mansion and all. Oh. Pero she is so humble. Di ba, she's a billionaire. Yeah, looks like so it humble. looks looks like it when uh, you guys, you and Tito Boy Abunda were... Interviewed oh her God, here the, in, actually, nag, in the round table was, conversation. Round table conversation. So I was wondering, no, let me ask Little Boy. Maybe by next year again we will have another round table uh, conversation, but we don't know who's the next guest. Sabi niya, so, diba, it could be quarterly. It could be a uh, quarterly, uh-huh. and it it could be um a celebrity like a Hollywood celebrity, naman, de ba? Yung mga Hollywood uh-huh. celebrities na or mga Filipinos Hollywood celebrities na they 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 wanna know more about their roots about Filipinos. Diba, and we'll talk about it, about yung mga big celebrities na hinahangaan ng lahat. Ayan. Sabi, nagpahinga si Susan. Bakala, wag muna dito. <laughs> kasi, kasi si Mrs. Oo nga. Bu- bu- lali, bukas mo, ibuhos <laughs> lahat yan. Ibuhos mga... lahat ito, Kasi bukas Hina- mo kay my <laughs> Miss Everything. Oo. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Bukas Nasa ka makipagtalastasan kay ano. I kay Miss... know. Tingnan natin kung sino mas magaling sa inyo bukas. Oo, oh, oh, si Hello Everything. <laughs> I know. Sana si Moira din, no, ma-interview natin. Moira tsaka si Morissette. I don't think it's gonna be impossible. So yeah, hopefully by next year. Kasi this this month talaga sobrang busy ang mga ang mga ano ang mga uh, Filipinos. O oh, oh, ganda ng interview niyo kay Kuya Boy eh part 2. I know. Gusto. Ah part 2 ulit. Gusto Ay 
Diyos ko, part 2. Sige, ask ko si Tito Boy. Lahat Pwede na rin. Lahat na natin si Tito Boy. Oo nga. Marami pa. Alam mo, hindi. Oo, marami pa yan. Impossible. Feeling ko marami pa kasi lalo pa ang daming oh, months oh. in between. And you, you know, he's a talker. Oh, so, oh, correct. Ay, kulang na naman ang two hours. Bakit umikot-ikot kami? Sa'yo. Hindi kaya. Mm. Umikot-ikot kami. Anong ikot-ikot ang alin? Ngayon, yung, okay, na. okay na. Okay na, okay na. And guys, kung sino pa lang, ano, by next year naman, we might do it like to ano na um twice a week no january impossible pero february on we're going to do ay, it um, twice a week na Luce, oh, oh. hindi kasi syempre hindi tayo maubusan at saka asus. may mga papasok tayong mga bagong ano ay ati maris panlilio hi pops hi popsy hello hello oh, oh sige po? Oh, we will try sige another part to interview with with dito boy naman Siguro about, you know, like, oh, Ray- Raymond Francisco will have an interview with Raymond Francisco. Mm-hmm. Part, part three. three. Part three. Oo, oh, oh, part three na naman. Kasi we want to know what's, you know, what's going on. At ito pa pala. We will have um guest uh, sa mga, uh, ang tawag doon, mga feng shui experts, yung mga, mga uh, card readers, or yung mga, uh, ano ba tawag sa kanila? Mga hula ba tawag sa kanila? Hindi, eh, no? Na you know like for 2021 naman so they will give their prediction for 2021. Ah uh, ako na po mag-uumpisa, meron po akong bolang kristal. Chicas, magkakajowa ka na. Oh, yeah, Miss Teen USA, please. Happy na siya. Definitely, definitely. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Hindi naman ano. Oh, oh, bet. Sige, let me know ha. Uy, may cousin si Elton na ipapa interview niya sa atin by January on. Um uh what's her name, Elton? Uh, uh, no, his name. Uh, he's the, I believe, the director, the musical director of Ariana Grande. Yeah, Marites Allen waiting lang sa sked niya. Aba? Oo, for the Chinese New Year, definitely, definitely. Popsy, si Tulfo, kailan ba natin may interview Di ba? Kailan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, si, ano pala, si, um, a friend, si Rasmin will be our guest also by next year. Oh, so, oh yes. So, in London pa, oo. Oh, oh. So, we will have a lot of um guests na hindi lang mga celebrities, of course. Hindi naman lagi lang celebrity, kahit sino. Ayun, Troy Arieta. Definitely, it will be an honor for Troy. Diba? Para sa hot seat for naman us. siya. For us as well. No, honor for us. And sa- chef, sana... Parang na- nagutom ako bigla. <laughs> ako nga din eh. Alam mo, kinakain ko. Teka. Wala pa naman. Ito ko si Mrs. Lewis. Skyflakes at saka goat cheese. Try nyo to. Ang sarong. Teka lang, kuha muna ako ng mani ha. Sandali lang. Nagugutom ako yan. Ang oh. ah, tagal naman ni Mrs. Lewis. Gusto nyo ba ng ano, goat cheese at saka skyflakes? Ang sarap. Grabe. Try nyo. O kaya ano? O kaya kamyas at saka ice cream? <laughs> so, ang sarap. Uh, ano ba yung tinitry ko sa ano? Ice cream and um... Ice cream and um... Pops French fries. Oh, Pops Fernandez is coming too. Yes. In January, meron na po kaming date. Yes, Pops Fernandez is coming. I believe we will have another interview with Martin, no? For the second time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah, we have, we have. Oh, oh. And Jcas. And Jcas. Really really interview me? Oh, oh, by February pala may interview natin si ano, si Nina. Ni, oh my god, I love. Yes, love her. Nina. And si ano, excited ako kay Noy Villante. Uy, kilala niyo si Mikey Bustos? Uh-oh. Yes, we will have a Mikey Bustos. Definitely. Na, I spoke to him na okay, okay siya. So, uh, it's just a matter of the schedules. So, pag may mga gusto kayong pa-interview, na malaman na at mabalahura namin ng kanilang mga <laughs> deepest secret. <laughs> yes. Oh, ay, Silly Ice Cream? Yes, meron. Meron pala. Mm-mm. Ay, but ben, I haven't sabay, tasted it. Sana Pops and Martin. Hala, pwede bang Pops and Martin? Hindi ko alam. Iba sa Pops, oo. Pwede siguro. I don't know. Oo, sig- o, siguro pwede. I- ibalik ang kahapon. Pariho ata Ayan sila. Na, Ay, na, ayan na, AJ Rafael. Si AJ Rafael. Sige, pag-usapan natin yan. Ay, ayan na, Mrs. Louis. <laughs> Kanta ka raw muna, Jcas. <laughs> okay na, Mrs. Louis. Start na tayo. I just go. I don't know. Can you hear okay me? Okay yan. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Can you hear me? Oo. Oh, oh. Yes, we can hear you, Mrs. Louis. Okay. I, my apologies, okay. my apologies. Oh, it's you know, okay, I am it's a okay. Dude. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, Mrs. Louise. And importante, you're here. And it's an honor for us to, of course, yes. to listen I am sorry. about your inspiring I couldn't, stories. I couldn't manage, couldn't manage ah. my uh, laptop. So I'm ah, back yes. to my iPhone. Okay. Ayan. Sorry. Sige, sige. To the listeners, okay, my apologies. 
Ayan. Okay. okay lang, Mrs. Louise. Pero at least malakas yung boses mo ngayon. So, balik na tayo. Ayan, oh, sabi ni, Miss, okay. ni Elton Lugay. Hi, Elton is here. They're here. Pops is here as well. Hi. Yes. Nandi dito lahat. Maraming Jerry's salamat here. to all of... Okay. Okay. Yes. Am I on? Okay na. Yes, you're on, Mrs. Can Louise. you hear me? Oh. Yes, we can hear okay. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's let's do the best we can. Yes, definitely. Okay lang yan. Ano yan? That's uh, how it is if it's live, di ba? So, it's okay. Next time, Mrs. Lewis, pupunta na kami dyan sa inyo. I-tour mo kami sa inyong magandang bahay. Ah, uh, uh, nga pala. Wait. House tour of Mrs. Lloyd and Lewis. Where, where, where are you right now, Miss Lewis? What house? Hamptons. Uh, is this or, in the Hamptons or, or in, in, in NYC? I think I am, yeah, I am here in New York, in Manhattan. Hmm. In my apartment, ah. but ah. The, the question wasn't too clear. So ah, sorry, sorry. Earlier, it's okay, it's okay. Aso ah, nasa nasa Manhattan kang eh. But because the last time when we had an interview with you, you were at the at the Hamptons, right? At your house at the Hamptons. Yeah. We were in East Hampton then. Oh. In the summer oh home. God. In the summer home, no. Ang sarap naman, no. Sana kami rin, Mrs. Lewis, no. Na kami rin merong Hampton sa future. Kailan ba tayo magkaka-summer home, Jesse? <laughs> Ay, naku, malabo. Ewan. O, sabi ni Jerry Sibal, glad to see you, Mrs. Oh, Lewis. Oh, Jerry yes. is here, yes. So, Mrs. Lewis, teka, bago ang lahat, I'm sure a lot of people are waiting, no? Yeah. So, that's, we need to have a toast. Siyempre, anong iniinom mo, Mrs. Lewis, dyan? Meron ka ba? We need to welcome you. <laughs> well, I am... Uh, I am prohibited from drinking wine or alcohol Ay. or Coca-Cola. So I just have oh. a Perrier. Perrier. Oh, Perrier. Here's a, oh. a toast. Oh, ay, yeah. Yes. Social pa din. Social. Yes. A toast I, or two. Yeah, let's. Or Thank two. You. Pero, Mrs. Mrs. Lewis, meron kaming ano ha, meron kaming protocol. Lagi na lang kaming ganito. Okay, umpisa na tayo ha. Okay. Welcome ka namin. Sa Santa Baya ng Pilipinas po at sa aming dearest USA, let's welcome ang napaka-humble at napaka-gandang Mrs. Loida Nicolas Luis. Welcome, Welcome to, to over, over a glass or two. two. Cheers. Cheers. Clink, clink, clink. Clink, clink, clink. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Lewis, mag-picture tayo, ha? Isang may pic- picture may, may picturean po tayo. Oo, uh, meron kaming picturean dito. Eh. Okay. One, two, three. Ayan. Umpisa na tayo ng kwentuhan. I'm sure ang dami-daming may gustong malaman about your life, Mrs. Lewis. Kasi, wow. When I was reading your your the introduction, kahit ako parang kulang pa ata ito doon sa nabasa ko. Kasi your biography is really long. Wa- Kwento nga, Mrs. Lewis. Paano nag-start yun? I mean, kasi hindi lahat ng tao, ano eh, um, even if they've been living in the U.S. and they're they're, they're busting their, their ass, you know, to work hard. But they couldn't, you know, they couldn't reach what you you've reached. So, kwento niyo po, paano kayo nag-umpisa? Kasi a lot of people wants to know, and ako din, I want to pick your brains. Kasi malay mo, no, in 10 years, maka medyo yumama na ako, di ba? So, kwento niyo po sa amin, paano kayo nag-start sa Pilipinas? I know you were um a lawyer in the Philippines. So, ano ba kayo? Um, the family are all lawyers? Or ano ba po kayo well-off kayo sa Pilipinas? Paano po nag-start? Okay, kasi ang aking, my father was uh, orphaned when he was 12. So, ang kanyang nanay ay teacher at hindi kaya palakihin ng tatlong lalaki. He was the oldest. Wow. So, he went to live for high school with a rich uncle in Daet, Marina Sur, in Bicol. The rich uncle was very entrepreneurial. So, in his mind, he said, I will be like my uncle going into business but his real intention was to be a lawyer he was in up mga klase niya president makapagal laurel you know and other politicians who became later a politician he did not finish law because he went into business very successful and that's i think the way he trained us that we can be whatever we want to be i have two brothers i'm the first girl and so in my mind there was already that expectation that, you know, I can do whatever I want. I, I can do whatever I decide I want to do. Mm-hmm. There, and, you know, sabi niya, there are five secrets of success. 
because by the time I was growing up, we had a movie house, we have a boutique, we have a, a recreation center, a Catex gas station, we have a fishing pond, fish pond, we had a trucking, sand and gravel. So those are all my father's businesses. And we were more or less upper middle or Sargon, as a province at the tip of Luzon. And he would brain us, uh, brainwash us in a way. What are the five secrets of success? After having dinner, we will be on our veranda overlooking the town where the Loida Theater, named after me, is on one side, the bowling alley is on another side, the boutique, and there we were. The secret of success. Number one is hard work. And then he will give an example. Number two is common sense. Okay, and then he will give an example of what is common sense. Number three is perseverance. You know, you will get failures. So, but you have to continue to, if at, at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Number four is thrift, meaning you must know how to handle money. If you're earning 1,000, you spend 1,200, you will never make it. So always be thrifty. And number five is faith in God. So those are like the five pillars of success of my father. And so when I entered, you know, elementary school, salutatorian. High school, valedictorian. College, cum laude. Mahirap maging number one or number two. So I was only number seven in our class. So what, what, what was that then? Within me, within you, already have those values within you. All right? And so when I decided to go to law school, of law because that was the two and he we all five of us my first side the end could succeed him in business kuya j will succeed him in construction work so he's an engineer loida i stay sa madaldala ko at tribida uh daring uh walang 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 uh, takot okay ikaw ang lawyer meli meli you will marry a banker and my youngest brother, architect, so that you can build homes. So, so when I passed the bar, my father said, okay, go to America, take your sister who is taking masters, and come back, start your career. So in my mind, I will be you know, a lawyer for the company. I will enter politics, kaya nga meron ng Loida Theater, and test never get married and it was here in new york that i met reginald lewis oh. yes. so this you will say oh. Oh, no, no, no. we were introduced as a blind on a blind date this is the blind date that worked and as i got to know him i knew that he was better than me in all respects he was he was a lawyer uh he was very ambitious very daring very dreamy and billionaire, I married the right guy. <laughs> so that's comes short. The, the, Mrs. Lewis, the, the, the long and short of it. But when my husband bought a billion dollar company and worked on it for five years, in one, in one, he got ill. And in six weeks, he died. You can imagine my sorrow. Can you hear me? Ay, ako, naputol ko yung Mrs. Lewis. Oo, naputol-putol eh. Oo, hindi maintindi. Nadidinig ba niyo ako? Yung, yung, pero naputol-putol. Yung last part na ano na siya, na ano na. So, anong part na naputol? Actually, oo nga, yung black. Pero, I think, refresh ulit. Oo, refresh lang. Mrs. Lewis, isa pang refresh. Okay, anong part na naputol? Saan ko dapat ayusin? Actually, dun sa ano, dun sa, sa blind date, actually. Dun sa blind, paano nyo na-meet? Paano na-meet si... Si Sir Reginald. Yes, o kailangan ng i-ano. Pero, wag, no pero, guys, pero wag po mag uh, log, log out. Just refresh. Oo, oh, just refresh lang pa. Yan. <coughs> yeah, we can hear you. Pero naglalag. Ano, no? Ganun talaga. Ang sarap. Alam mo? Oh, ang sarap ng life ni Mrs. Lewis. No? Wait a minute. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's like uh, hurdles, ups and downs. There's... 
out, out of out of the things that she said, which is I love, and I want to decipher it. The long two words only are embedded in my mind, like right now, and you know what that is. Loida Theater. I know. <laughs> Grab no. Because I know what? she came from ano um affluent uh, um uh, affluent family, affluent definitely. na pala. Affluent na talaga. Came from an affluent family. But uh, mind you, the father is an orphan. Diba? So talagang kaya... nandun sa mindset talaga yan eh, no? Pero naniniwala ka ba, Bax? Kayo, while we, we, we're waiting for Mrs. Louise, do you believe in, um, in luck? Kasi sometimes, diba, there's a lot of um, a lot of business people, businessmen, businesswomen, like who've thrived and done everything, you know, Oh, with their different types of um, will venture into different types of businesses, but they never, they never made it. Ako, I believe talaga in in ano yes, blessing right. luck in nasa nasa palad mo, mm-hmm. de ba? Like whatever you do, meron din naman parang overnight lang boom, ang na yung success. Yes. Ay chaka pa yung aga while we're waiting for this to be Ang pwede, no? Ay, hindi ako. Oo, oh, oh, masunod. Ayan, okay. I think you have Can you to hear move, me? no? Yes. I yes. Think this, 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 this time, okay na to. I think this is the spot. That's the, I think that's the spot. Sana, sana. <laughs> okay. I know. know. Ayan, Mrs. Louise. Okay, okay narinig ba niyo ako? Oo, narinig Opo. ka namin, Mrs. Louise. Yes. Nagahang pa din, no? Okay. Nagpalit ko para mas, mas malapit sa wifi. Yes, yan. Mas malapit. Yan, mas okay. Yes, okay, okay na. Ayan. So, Mrs. Louise, um, kwe- na- yung kwento mo na ano, na, okay na. Uh, pumunta ka ng Amerika. Sa, na- sa lugar na hindi na dinig. Uh, yung ano, yung na-meet mo si, ano, si... Anong lugar si na hindi Ms. na dinig? Uh, yung ano po, yung nung na-meet nyo si, ano, blind ah, date I pa met siya. Reginald Lewis and Tate. Blind date? Paano blind date? Ikwento nyo nga po yung blind date na Blind yun. date. Blind like, date. One blind like, date uh, na. Walk us through, ano, walk us through that, ano, that right. um, scenario. So, yes. Okay. I was introduced, I was introduced by um, my boss dahil sa nagtrabaho ako, dahil sa, um, you know, ang tagal-tagal, I mean, my, my, my sister is going to graduate in May, and I was there in September. So, sabi ko, magtrabaho nga ako. So, my boss was my Harvard graduate. Classmate niya si Mr. Lewis at Harvard. And so, my sister is single, my boss is single, I introduced the two of them. Ang bilis ng boss ko, magde-date agad sila. So, sabi niya, Loida, do you want a, a double date? Sister and me, then I'll fix a blind date for you. That's how we met. Okay, that's how we met. So, uh, when when I first met him, ano impression ko? My impression was ang galing-galing. Dahil sa ano kahit na ano sabihin ko, may nasasabi siya. Anong sasabihin niya, may nasasabi din ako. So we we talk endless, you know. And to know him better, na I understood. Tako magaling na ako, mas magaling siya. Akala ko, ako, articulate siya. Akala ko, mas ambitious ako, mas ambitious siya. Akala ko, driven ako, mas driven pa. <laughs> Reginald Blue was the driver. So he was better than me in all respect. But on one aspect, I know talo ako. He knew how to make money. Even when he was seven years old, he was already having a news per delivery. For two years, ang unang umpisang client niya are his mother, his aunts, and when he was only 10 years old, he was able to increase it to 100 clients. So, maliit pa siya, he knew how to make money. So, all of those, sabi ko, uh, at saka, pinaka-importante, he was masterful. Now, I, I'm a very strong character. Would you, I, I, would you call it like first love? I, Miss yeah, Loida. You know, so tumba, tumba, surrender. I surrender. Na, 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 na first uh, love at first sight. Ka. Uh, not well, I had a crush on a classmate. 
a newbie. Okay, that was just a crush. This love was well, no, no, I never fall in love. Like <laughs> it's only I got to know him more that I understood mm. that he is better than me in all respects. So, slow do ako. Meaning to say, I became because he was a man, I became more a woman. Dahil sa sa isip ko, I'm not get, I'll never get married. Kung ako lang ang magiging Uh, kung, if I am going to be the man in the family, why get married? Okay, I don't need that. Mm. So, I don't want to help my husband if I'm going to get married. So, sa isip ko, I'll never get married uh, like Helena Benitez single. But, I met my match in Mr. Lewis. And so, when I saw that, I said, okay. All right. Tapos na ang aking leadership. I, I turned over the leadership to Mr. Lewis. Siya, sino, si, sino po nang ligaw sa inyo? <laughs> Niligawan po kayo? Like, paano yung ligawan? Kasi dito sa US, di ba, hindi na uso ang ligaw-ligaw. Di ba? Dito sa US, parang, I like you, you like me, come on. Let's, let's no, there's no sugar coating. I was in the Philippines. You know, I never, I, well, I did not, yeah, I did not entertain not entertain suitors kasi sa sa bahay ko nga lahat kayo magiging under desire oh. so i did not entertain any suitors but as i said i had a crush on one of my class ay so, my god very determined kayo no so so when you um like how many how many years did, have you been guys dating before you decided to get married nagpropose ba si Mr. Reginald No. Oh, no, 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 no. We met in December. We got married in August. Why? I... Because oh. I had a tourist visa. I will not overstay. So, alam. yes. Oh, so, But, you know, just on our way home, sabi ko, hindi ko na siya makikita. I will never see him again. Lungkot na lungkot na lungkot. Mukot ako. Pero stopped over in Stanford dahil sa maraming mga kaibigan kami doon nagkukuha ng PhD. And one of them, Jerry Hill, said, Lloyda, if you're that if you're that sad, why don't you call him? I never thought of that. So tawag ako, darling, I'm coming back. So that's how we got married. Wow. Just like that? Tinik naman. And then, So okay, so when you started, like, like you got married and everything. So, so who's um? How was the relationship like in you know during the first few years? And who's wearing the pants during that time? <laughs> no, 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 no! Believe me, he is the man in the family. Nakujusko, na I mean to say. He is such a strong character that I have to keep quiet sometimes. Okay? And I don't want to fight with him. So, if we have a disagreement, I blah, 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 blah. I keep my mouth shut. Pero, sa inis ko, umiiyak na lang ako. And once my tears fall, panalo na ako. Ay! <laughs> Gusto ko yung style mo, Mrs. Lewis. <laughs> Oo nga. Style ko rin yan eh. Oo. Oh, oh. ah, Mrs. Lewis, direct said that, ano, kasi since um, nagahang ka, um, if you want, what is it? We can call you on the phone and then? And that's gonna be her audio? Yeah. How is that possible? I can do that. Oh, yeah? Oh. Um... Mrs. Louise, ah, sige, can you call? I can give you her number. Nawawala, ano? Mrs. Louise, no, napuputol ka talaga. O, oh, kasi sayang yung, ano, yung conversation so, natin. Ang ganda-ganda ng conversation. Delayed, delayed and nagahang. Oh, oh. Um, Edwin, mm-hmm. uh, uh, pick up the... Ay, si Edwin na lang tawagin natin, no? Sige, sige. Edwin, can we call you? Yeah, I'm calling you right now, ha? No, no, no. Ah, no, no, no. Direct will call you, ha? Okay, call delayed. Yes, and then we'll just use that audio. We'll use the audio. Sayang Edwin. mo. Edwin, tawagan ka. I know. Sige, tawagan mo na lang Uh-oh. si Edwin. 
Ah, sige, sige, kasi ang hina ng audio. Pero mo. pero the, the the video will still this will still be intact, Oo, right? at least oh. the audio pero lang para mas oh. mas clear sa mga oh. Oh, oh, sa mga viewers. Oo, oh, oh, medyo Ayan. Hello party line. Hello, Hello po. Ayan, hi party line. Pwede I will turn off my phone. microphone. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Party line ako naman gagamit ha. Kanina ka pa. <laughs> Yes, yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, Edwin Hoswe. If you're looking for. Yes. <laughs> salamat, salamat, Edwin. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Ay, nag-ayun lang. Ay, yung, yung, yung kabilang Facebook. Ano uh, Mrs. Lewis, I think you have to turn off the, uh, your, your, oo, uh, yung, ano ba dapat? Ay, I will turn off. Yes, we can. Off? Anong dapat i-off? Ah, uh, yung speakers. Nung... Yung speakers ah, so, daw so, pa. Ito to, so speaker daw ma'am. Ay, no. Sana pala pumunta na lang ako dyan sa inyo, no? Kami na lang umupo dyan. No? Um, Mrs. Lewis, para talaga ang ganda yeah. pa naman ng ano. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. And then, okay. uh, and then labas ka na lang ulit, Mrs. Louis, so we can see you. Even if nagahang ka, at least your voice is still oh, clear. Oh. Yes. Oh my God. Okay. Ah, sige, pasok oh, ulit, Mrs. Louis. Ayan, okay. para ang ganda ng sayang yung kwentuhan, eh, no? Oh, ang dami-daming okay. matutunan ng lahat. Ang God, no? Grabe yes, siya. Mm-mm. Yun lang talaga ang pangat sa ano. sa live no kasi you know unexpected na technical difficulties yeah ako baka ay nako lang keso mm go cheese ato ato just turn off the speakers no uh-uh. uh-huh. turn off the speakers na lang pa mm uh-huh. okay i now can you hear me on the phone mm mm-hmm. yeah. Can you see me? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. I think. We're, are we good to go, Jesse? Um, I think so. Okay. We're good to go. Pero may nag-echo parang ano? Kailangan alisin ni Mrs. Lewis yung yung audio nito. Laptop ng phone niya. Can you can you please say it? Please, can you say it? Si direct daw miss, may, may instruction Mrs. Miss Lloyd, uh, pakipatay po yung yung audio nung ano nyo, nung phone nyo. Hindi po yung kay Edwin, yung sa inyo po. Ah ah. Ay okay. Ayun Edwin. Ayun Edwin, hello. Yan, <laughs> okay. Edwin, hello. Okay, I turn off the mic. Ah, uh, yung speaker daw po, Mrs. Louis. Ah, oh, oh. no? I know, pasensya na po. Okay. Uh-oh. All right. Is that better? Yes, so much better. So much better. Ayan, wala na feedback. Ayan, wala na. Go. Yes. Ang talino direct ko. Oh. Just galore. Talino ni Derek. Gusto <laughs> mong magpahawak na kamay. Yan din yung kamay niya. Ay, ang daya. Ako walang hawak ng kamay ko. Hindi. <laughs> okay, go. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, yes, yes. We can hear you. Yan. Okay, great. Ayan na, ayan na. May delay. Oh, okay na. So, ngayon wala nang delay. Okay na yung, uh, okay na yung cam. Basta yung sound, Uh-oh. basta yung audio basta okay. Basta yung sound, yung audio Uh-oh. okay. Can you hear us uh, well, uh, Miss Loida? Yes. Ayan, okay. Ah, ayan. Nasa, ayan. Na, oh, ayan. ayan. So, Ay, tayo, wait. So, ba- bago ang lahat pala, Miss Lloyd, bago pala lahat, eh, bago ituloy yung kwento mo pala, yung love story, um, ang tumatak pala dun sa first part ng kwento mo sa akin are two words only, ha? Lloyd Theater. I know. We were like, <laughs> whoa. Ansin pa ba yung, yung ano, yung Lloyd Theater? 
Ang nag-exist pa, Ms. Louise? Hello. Okay. Oh, can you hear? Uh, yes, yes. No, Pero we can hear you. Uh-oh. -uh. We can hear you, okay. Mrs. Louise. Uh -uh. Okay. Nag-exist pa yung Lloyd the Terror? Oo, nawala na talaga. Sayang. Ano kaya ni? Let's have... Parang, you, can you hear us? Use the sa phone? No. Oh, ano kaya no, Bi? Let's do another one, but um with, with her, but ano na lang live. Oh, oh. Kasi talagang wala. Tingnan tingnan natin. Oo, oh, oh, kasi sayang naman. Sayang Mrs. Oh, oh. Louise. Unforeseen 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 circumstances that we can't exactly. control, but but we want sayang. to be inspired also with her um Sobra. with her Mrs. story. Mm -hmm. Lalo na yung five pillars of ano of oh, um, oh. Yung bigay sa kanya ng dad niya. Ano, five pillars of... Success. Um, Dear Rich, Edwin Joshua of Brown Marriage. Oh. Na, 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 na. Sasulat ko ngayon, kaso parang hindi ko narinig lahat. Hello, oo ba ka? Oo nga eh. Oo nga, teka-teka. Ano, ano, ano tingin nyo guys? I know. Mrs. Louise, let's just do this. Ano na lang. Um, sige, tawag na. Okay. Uh, hindi, hindi namin marinig. Can you just call... Me Can Edwin. you just call Edwin, Edwin. back? Tawagan oh, mo nga uli si Edwin. Okay, Edwin, okay. please. I'll call Edwin. Sandali, andali. Call okay. back Edwin. Tawagan ko si Edwin ngayon. Edwin? Here, yeah, Rich. Edwin, jo. Ay, nakaano eh. Sige, ganun yeah, na lang siguro. I know. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, I ma. know. We're supposed to. I know. To... Everyone is logged in, actually. Mga... <laughs> mga friends natin sorry know, guys because they're, they're they're dying to listen oh, to I know but the but the life story of Miss Lloyd and Luis Nicolas and Nicolas Luis so hey, yung so say Edwin. Edwin. Yeah, Edwin Joshua hello we're trying to call you oh we're trying to call you Edwin oh sayang no hello Edwin yeah, oh, Rich, Edwin Joshua hello Edwin Edwin. Uh -oh. Can you hear me? Oo, oh, kaso hindi naman natin sila marinig dito. Ah, okay. Tatawag daw sa'yo si, ano, si, uh, direct, si direct. Okay. Okay. Go. Ang hirap, no. Nandito si, ano, Kuya Ruben na palis. Hi. Hi, Sir Ruben. Mm. Hello, hello. Ay, ako nga pala, bibili ako ng, ano, gift ko sa sarili ko. Hello. Ah, hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Um, Mrs. Louise, gusto nyo bang oh. i-ano? Like, um, do you wanna have like a... Ituloy natin? Yeah. Oo, sige, ituloy natin to. Pero paano yung audio? It's like, okay. Now, now Naririnig okay. na? Can everyone hear it? Can you guys hear it? I can hear you. I can hear you, Jesse. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Jacob, can you hear Mrs. Louise? Uh, I can hear Miss Lloyd, yes. Oh, okay, okay. All righty. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, Tuloy, ang Tuloy ang ligaya. Tuloy ang ligaya. Oras ng ligaya. <laughs> yes. Kailangan, oo, para tuloy na tuloy. Sige, tuloy natin to. Go. So, Mrs. Louise, oh, gusto, gusto, maybe Mrs. Louise wants to get in again? No, it's okay. It's okay? Yung bosses na lang? Okay. So, Miss, can you just show a picture of her? Okay. Just show a picture of her. Yeah. Uh -uh. So, anyways, so, uh, Mrs. Louise, so, yung kwento mo, sayang no, hindi ka, ma hindi ka na namin makita, sayang. Kasi, um, Sorry na lang, we would... na. Uh -oh. Next uh -oh. time talaga, we push, uh -oh. push each other. Uh -oh. So, kwento, Mrs. Louise, so, how was it, like, um, so, nung na-meet mo, and um, he was the one wearing the pants, <laughs> ibinigay mo na sa kanya ang corona. <laughs> yes. And then? So, pero, ang katalang ito, ako ang nag-propose sa kanya. Huh? Hala ka? For real? <laughs> no way. Yes, yes, yes. You see, like, we have been dating for like five months. December, January, February, March, April. So, ano pang dapat? Sabi ko, so, when we were in the subway, going to bringing me to my hotel, where my sister is, in the subway, wala nang maliyado maraming tao. So, I asked him, darling, do you want a big wedding or a small wedding? Sumagot naman, small wedding. Do you want it? here or in Baltimore? 
no, at NYU, there's a nice chapel. Suddenly, he understood what he was doing. And then he said, oh, my God, I have a headache. <laughs> so what oh. was that? That was our plan to get married. And so I kissed him on the cheek, darling, and then I kissed him on the cheek. So that was it. Oh, my That's God. Bili ba ko sa'yo? Ang bilis ka usap. Ang bilis ka usap. Grabe. Ano pa? Ano pa? I'm a lawyer. He's a lawyer. I mean, you know, I'm finished college. I am single, he's single. I have no boyfriend, he broke off with his girlfriend. Oh wait! So, ano pang susunod? Ano pang susunod? Di magpapakasal. Pero yun yung sinasabi ko. As we were getting married, as we had made plans, I had second thought. Dahil sa, what does it mean? I'm going to leave my parents, my family, my friends, my ambition, my country. So I cannot go through with it. So I broke off our engagement. Uwi kami. And that's it. And that's when when we stopped over in uh, in Stanford. That's when Jerry and said, "Loida, if you're that sad, give him a call." <gasps> and then I thought of it. So dial ako agad sa kanyang opisina. And then when he answered, I said, "Darling, I'm coming back." So that's how we got married. Oh my God! Very aggressive, na mampale <laughs> si Mrs. Lou. Nagpahabol pa. Nag oh, oh, oh. wow. <laughs> So how was wait okay after the wedding so how was it how was the how was the the family like during you know for the first one year kasi sabi nila diba parang first few years daw ng marriage is like a roller coaster but how so how was yours Well siempre roller coaster roller coaster in the sense that adjustment I am a Filipina for a Hiana you know never had a boyfriend and had you know I grew up middle class upper middle class may mga katulong, may naglalabang, may nagluluto, may naglilinis. But here, I'm going to do all of that. But he said, okay, he promised my father that I will come back to the Philippines once a year. And secondly, he promised me we will have a housekeeper who will clean the house once a week. All right, so at least hindi ako maglilinis. But, but I learned how to cook. Okay? Just simply, simple, simple ang mga nakain si Mr. Lewis. Fried chicken, pork chop, steak, hamburger. So I learned how to do all of that. Pero ano po, dahil sa hindi ako masyado marunong, sinabi sa akin ng mother-in-law ko, after, you know, after everything, you know, he would call me and he would complain. Loida cannot, uh, Loida cannot even cook a bleak, black, bleak, you know, bleak, bleak, bleak hamburger. Oh, my God. <laughs> ano mo, naghumura. Na hindi ako marunong ang aking hamburger laging mali. So, sabi naman ni Mrs. Nim, Mom, I call her Mom because she's not my mother in law She was a mother to me. Well, Reg, if he, she, yeah, if you cannot expect her because she doesn't, she has not done it at home. Oh, you're right. You have a point, Mom. Goodbye. So, <laughs> so those are the first years. But, what I observed is that he was always having an imagination. Our first apartment is what you call uh, um, railroad. Railroad means straight, straight, straight from the living room to the kitchen mm-hmm. to the small room, study room to the bathroom. Pakikita mo lahat one straight line. And when he's taking a shower, ang tagal tagal sa shower. Lalabas siya ngayon. I'm at one million, Loida. One million. One million dollars. Ibig sabihin nun. Ibig sabihin sa isip niya. Na, ginawa na niya kung anong dapat na he reached 1 million assets. Alright? Three months later, naroon naman, nagliligo habang ako nag, uh, cooking at tagal-tagal na nagsashower. Paglabas niya, I'm at 3 million, Loida. 3 million. So, sa inyo, continue to dream. Continue to dream big. Biro mo yun, 3 million, eh, ang, ang salary niya at that time, which is 1969, ha? Huh? $150,000. 150, Ano pa paano ba yun? Fifteen dollars, fifteen thousand a year. Oh, wow. Fifteen thousand a year. Because this is 1969. Ganun ang salary ng mga, uh, ng mga associates. Okay. Of course, within one year, they raised it up to, to you know, I think 75,000 a year. 1969. But, ang kanyang pag-isip, laging big. Alright? We stayed in that apartment for one year. And by the time, 12 months, paglabas niya, nasa 11 million na siya. And then we changed apartment 
that two bedroom na kami and all that hindi ko na siya nakikita but within one year while we were in that apartment ang kanyang dream reached up to 11 million 20 years later what did he do he bought a billion dollar company Vietnamese Food International so anong ibig sabihin sa mga tao work hard hindi lamang siya nagdi-dream katapos he stays behind mm-hmm. while he was a lawyer every night Monday to Friday, he's out hustling, getting clients. Saturday and Sunday, when we had children and we were able to buy our Hampton home, you know, three bedroom, Saturday, Sunday is the family. Okay? We are out in the Hampton. But Monday to Friday, hustling, hard work, and mm-hmm. always, lagi siyang sinusulat, asset and liabilities. Okay? Alam niya kung ilan ang asset, investing in real, in, no, investing in stocks, all right, ang expenses namin, alam na alam niya. So, this is my rule, this is my advice, people, have a plan. Have a plan. What do you plan to do in one year? What do you plan to do in five years or even mm. ten? You know, pareho ng papa ko. Papa, he told me, or he told us, the children, that before he got married, he had a 25-year plan. On the fifth year, ganito. On the first year, ganito. Fifth year, um, 10 years, 25-year plan. Nagdawa niya lahat except one, funeraria. Gusto na oh, father wa- so, funeraria. So, ang aking, si Melly, my sister, Papa, tama na. Okay, so, but he was able to achieve his dream of what to achieve within the 25 years that he was in business. So, mm-hmm. my husband, in a way, was like that. He had dreams. Mrs. Okay, so, Mi- okay. yung mga nakikinig ngayon, yung mga nakikinig sa inyo, Plan, have a plan. 2021. Anong plan mo sa 2021? What do you plan to achieve? And if, if somebody or someone is, is distracting you from that goal, isipin mo, is he worth it? Or is he not worth it? Yung mga ganon. Mm-hmm. So have a plan. Okay? Number two, code of ethics. Obedience to a code of ethics. Do not, do not be, anong tawag dito? Huwag mong gagawin sa iba ang masama sa iyo. Ang masama sa iyo, huwag mong gagawin sa iba. In, in other words, sure. follow, you know, do not lie, do not steal, do not cheat. Why? Because your reputation will follow you. Kung ikaw ba nasubat, alam ng tao yun. So they yeah. did not trust you. That's so Kung true. Kung ikaw naman, you keep your word, you honor. Mahiram nga ng 20 peso, tapos binabayaran mo agad. Alam ng tao that you can give a new one. Mahiram nga ng 5,000 sa tapos goodbye, hindi mo na ako makikita. Alam ng tao din yun that they cannot trust your word. So, obedience to a code of ethics. Dahil sa, kung ikaw ay mag, nang tago dito yung, you're going to um, take the shortcut, disobey the law, makurakot, lahat, it will not last long. Okay? Number number four, and uh, number three, determination. Kahit na ang mangyari, you will experience failure, but that should not uh, that should not disturb you, that should not deter you, that should not stop you, ay naku, ayaw na. Okay? Kasi kung minsan, diretso ang takbo mo, merong suma, there is somebody na nag, nag, um, who will disturb you. So, take another route. Okay? Be resourceful. Mak- makakarating ka. And sometimes, may opportunity dumating, have the wisdom. Ask God that you have the wisdom to see if there's an opportunity that's coming your way. So, G, goal setting. O, o, obedience to a code of ethics. G, determination. G, O, D, that spells God. Because I really believe mm-hmm. you have to be close to God. You have to follow His will. And, and lastly, you know, before I end, ang ibig sabihin nito is Psalm 3, verse 5 and 6. Okay? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. Okay? So, lahat ng mga nakikinig ngayon, if you are not, I don't say religious. I don't mean, you know, dovina, you know, ganito, ganyan. No, I mean spirituality. Within your own heart, you are close to God. And pasasabi nyo, how do you become close to God? Then, seek Him in the Bible. Okay? Makinig kayo sa mga sermon. Usually, if it is a true priest, 
ang, ang, ang sermon niya, lalabas sa inyong puso. Born again. Kung talagang malapit sila sa Diyos, ang mga sinasabi nila, tatalap sa inyong puso. Seek God. Because in the end, He will never abandon you. Just as God did not abandon me when my husband died 25 years ago. Mrs. Loida, during that time that um, I know that you mentioned see si Mr. Reginald was you know uh, was a lawyer right what was his first business nung time na yun kasi i know he's a go getter so what was his business na tipong hindi siya nagstop and he didn't like he really didn't stop like like achieving and and reaching his goal ano yung unang 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 talagang just uh Lloyd i have to do this no matter what happened uh, no he didn't have to tell me i have to do this i know what he wanted to have a successful law practice So, he was in a big law firm, but alam mo, in a law firm, you work 15 hours. In fact, hindi ka, halos hindi kami magkita yung blind date na sinasabag, sinawagan siya ni Ray Glover, my boss. Reg, why don't you join me? I have a date with the sister of my secretary, and come, you know, I'll introduce you to her. So, we have a blind date, a double date. Oh my God, no, no, no. I am too busy. Ganyan. Yeah, halos hindi kami magkita. Nung sinabi ni Ray Glover, oh, that's too bad, Reg. You know, she comes from the Philippines. Wait! Wait! I've never dated an Oriental before. I'm coming. <laughs> so, wow. you know, so, work, as a lawyer, as a practicing lawyer, you know, he worked so many hours, but the law firm told him that he is not partner material. Ibig sabihin, you know, Don't work and work and work for three, four years. Alam namin, you don't fit in our image of a partner. Ganun ang mga law firm dito. Kasi ayaw naman nilang unfair sa'yo. Patatrabuhin ka ng 50, 60, 70 hours. Katapos at the end, hindi ka magiging partner sa full law firm. So, yeah. ito. Uh, ito lang, ito lang. Because he's black, because he's African-American, ano ang sinabi nung, ano, nung, nung partner na sinasabi, you know, We will find you a job in a university in Connecticut. We have connections there. So, sa kanilang isip, for this African-American, this black man, okay, ang mataas, ang mabuti na sa kanya na magturo sa isang university. Always undermining or always underestimating. Okay, but that did not deter him. Okay, itong sinasabi mo, na, how did he do it? So, I'll establish my own law firm. So, he had a group of four Wallace, Murphy, Thorpe, and Lewis, who started their own law firm. And how did they do that? They were able to get for one year the um, um, a, a, a supplement. Ibig sabihin, a foundation uh, gave them initial capital to rent a law firm, to um, you know, to uh, look for their own client, and that's what he did for the first year. And second year, wala na yung sense sa kanila, so he was out hustling. Okay, getting clients. And he was able to get corporate clients. Ang corporate clients, magaling dahil sa ang laki ng bayad. Mm-hmm. But, but, halimbawa, Etna, which is a true story, nagpalit ng CEO. Anong nangyari sa kanila after serving them for five years and doing good job? All right, give me, ba- give me your resume. Ah, panibago, mm-hmm. down zero na naman sila. They will find out, they will, con- mm-hmm. they, 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 para bang you are dismissed. Okay, so sabi niya, mahirap ito. This is, I don't want this. Na, after serving this corporation, just because there's a new CEO, back to zero kami. I have to go on the other side. Ibig sabihin, not service, but I will be the one being served. I will go and buy my own company. Yun. Yun ang kanyang, yun ang kanyang ultimate goal, to buy a company. Why? Kasi as a lawyer, you only have 24 hours. Bill your client. Hindi naman 26, 27, 40. One hour has 24 hours. Kung nagtrabaho ka, so you bill them every hour for 24 hours. But in business, the sky is the limit. You can go as high as you can. And he did. Uh, Miss Lloyd, ah, yung, when yes. you guys got married, ba, uh, you, con- you still continued your practice, right? Well, okay. So, ito naman, ito naman ang istorya ko. Mm. Dahil sa hindi ako admitted dito sa New York, all right, I was able to petition in 19, 1974, the 
the United States Supreme Court said citizenship U.S. is not a qualification. And because you see college of law is acceptable as if you studied in an American university, uh, college, college of law. So when I filed my, my papers, my diploma, UP, et cetera, I was allowed to take the bar in 1974, and I passed it. How did I pass it? I studied like the Dickens. Okay? Oh, wow. I exiled, I exiled my daughter, Leslie, to Baltimore para walang disturbance. And Mr. Lewis agreed, no cooking during the two months that I was studying for the bar. And I passed it the first time. No cooking hamburgers. Oh, I know hamburgers <laughs> and other... <laughs> yes, orders, orders of the restaurant next door. <laughs> next door. Lahat ng mga pagkain. No cooking, no champ, no, no, no... In other words, concentrate on passing the bar. I studied with a review with Practicing Law Institute and I passed it. And when I passed it, because I was the first Filipino woman, because there's another one, Severino Nico, he's a Filipino, also like me, studied in UT. So both of us passed at the same time. But since I'm the woman, I'm the first Filipino woman to pass the New York bar without mm-hmm. going to law school in the United States. Wow. So I'm, que- I'm question <laughs> more, Jeka, I'm question more is, did I practice law? Yes, I practice law. I, I I applied I applied with INS Immigration and Naturalization Service. Hindi ako kinuha. Bakit? Ang galing ako. So I stood up for discrimination. Uh-oh. Oh, yun nga. Yeah, I was so, about to ask about discrimination. You're discriminating because you're, you're, you, I know you, you passed the bar, you're number one, but you're Asian, number one, and number two, you're a woman. So, yung discrimination yat at that time, malaki rin ba? Mas ma- very intense. Tama. Ang, yung, ang immigration is part of the Department of Justice. At walang as, 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 there is no Asian. Puros puti. Siguro merong, siguro may black, of course, yes, merong black. Isa, dalawa lang. Merong um, Latino, Spanish, isa, dalawa lang. Pero karamihan puti. So, when I sue them, on the basis of national origin, because I am Filipina, on the basis of race, because I am brown, on the basis of woman, because I'm a woman. On those three counts, I sued them. So it took three years before I had a hearing. And during the hearing, sabi ko, oh, it's a qualification ko, SS-171. So 11 who was chosen before me, pakita nila ang kanilang qualification, SS-171. That's the form that you submit. One month, two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, hindi produced ng INS. And you know, that's a theory in law. If you're asked to submit documents and you do not submit it, the assumption is it's against you. So the judge after six months said, all right, okay, the immigration failed to submit the FS-171 of the 11 lawyers that was accepted and not Lloyd and Nicholas Lewis. So let us look at her qualification. It seems they were good. First, she is um, top ten, ten uh, the top ten of her graduating class. Hindi, hindi, hindi ako nag-top sa bar. But in my class, I was number seven. Number two, she was a member of the law review. Number three, she graduated cum laude. Number four, she was high school, uh, she was a high school of valedictorium. Number four, I speak three languages, English, Filipino, and Spanish. All right? So she seems to be good. Come in. You are hired. And they gave me three years back pay. Yun. Yun ang aking minyari. Oh, wow. Alam mo, grabe ka. Mrs. Luis, uh, ito yung sabi ko, sana all. No, no sir, kasi it's, you're so driven. You don't take BS for an answer. Ang, <laughs> the house, what about Mrs. Luis? May, may tanong pala dito si Elton. Sabi niya, Ma'am Loida, did you ever have a chance to ask Mr. Reginald the one thing that he admired about you the most? <laughs> no, no. But I hear from, I hear from mom. Mom, because you know, not that Reginald does not praise me. He doesn't say anything, but I know it from his actions that he understands, you know, my value to him as his wife. But one thing he said on, on his speech in front of the Columbia Law School students when he was asked, 
here is, you know, my wife, you know, and he introduced that, my wife of 19 years, because at that time, we were married only 19 years, my wife of 19 years, who is the most uh, not ma- unmaterialistic person I've ever met. So that, that he, he said in public before the law student. Na hindi daw ako materialistic. Which is... Wait, hold on. Oh, eh, hindi ka mat- Yun na nga actually ito, ah, Mrs. Luis. Yun yung gusto kong i-ask. Kasi I, I'm hearing... um, Because I remember I've always... I always see you like from afar. I just admire from afar whenever we go to a Filipino event. And I always see you, of course, very, very posh, very prim and proper. But I don't see you like... Very tall. Uh, and so tall as well. But I don't see you... um, What do you call this? Like a... Not very flashy, and you know, like uh, yung de- that, designer head to toe, parang head, ganon. During that time, were you like that? Were you, were you the type of person that very simple, or you always request, um, uh, Mister uh, Reginald, to like, can you buy me this? Can, no, I want to make never. sure that everything is like perfect, purple. No. Every year we have to no. change the the furnitures. Were you the type of uh, wife? What? No, 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 never, never, uh, never. So the first time he gave me a firm, Michimoto firm, yung sinaoli ko dahil sa mahal-mahal. Bumili ako oh. ng limang baro <laughs> instead. So, oh. yun ang hindi sabihin. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Later on, I understood. You know, it's a gift from him. I should keep it. So, he would just give me, you know, diamond, rubies, uh, fur, but, and, and, and mink coat. A mink coat that is not black. It is sable. Okay? Ang mahal mahal daw nun. So, why? Why is that? Because sa akin, yes, materialistic, of course, I enjoy them. But that's not the be all and end all of existence. It's more, how do you treat people? How does it treat me? Kaya nga sinasabi ko, pag nag-aaway kami, ayoko sagutin. Ayoko yung katangpaalan. Okay? Pag umiyak na ako, panalo na ako. So, <laughs> Gusto ko yung style mo, Mrs. Lou. Uh, Miss Lloyd, ano yung ano yung usually pinag-aawayan ninyo? First question and then yes. second question. Dahil ba yun sa pag-a Ha? Da- I, I can't remember. Nothing serious kasi kung hindi ma- maaalala ko. Okay? Pero there's one thing though. When he bought Beatrice International Foods, we moved to Paris and we lived there for five years. Oh. But the business but his business is buying companies, and that's America. So he would come to Paris for one year, and then come back here for uh, to New York for uh, not not one year, one month to Paris, one month to, to Manhattan, one month to Paris, one month to Manhattan. After all, he had his own jet plane. The company had a jet plane, uh, Challenger, uh, good for six people or nine. Okay, so he could easily come back and forth. And while he was while he was with me, okay, of course, you know, after the children had gone to bed, we would be talking. And then he told me something. I wish he didn't tell me. Doida, I, I went, I had dinner with a mutual friend. And this mutual friend is African-American, beautiful, single, very accomplished. Okay? Well, I'm telling you this because I don't want you to hear it from other people. Oh. Ay, selosa. Ay, selosa. Sakit, sakit. So, aking sakit, pag naroon siya sa Manhattan, naku, ang imagination ko, naku, it was bothering me. Oh, my God. Pati, no, sabi ko sa inyo, God will not abandon you. Meron akong kaibigan, kasi may prayer group kami sa St. Joseph Church. It's the only English-speaking church in Paris. And one of them said, Lloyd, what's bothering you? Ay, naku, Nora. Her name is Nora Brady. She is Irish. Ay, naku, sinagtapat ko sa kanya. Nasilosong siloso ako. Yeah. I am so jealous. Na alam ko nangyayari pag narito sa Manhattan. And then, this is what she told me. Loida, I think you should read St. Paul's letter to Corinthians. What is love? Okay? That's the best thing she did. Kasi sabi ko, okay, what is love? Ayun, love is patient. Wow, love is patient. Loida is patient. No, ibig sabihin nung sa akin, vis-a-vis Reginald Moses. Loida is patient. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, iniisip ko yung mga, mga 
nangyayari na hindi ako impatient, na ako'y nagiging impatient. Mm-hmm. Love is kind. Loyalty is kind. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin, my husband. Okay? Love is, love is, love is patient, love is kind. Love is not self-seeking. Love is not proud. Love is not, um, does not, does not keep a record of wrong. Mm-hmm. Hindi mm-hmm. yung dinilisa, ala, ah, ginawa mo na naman yan, number one. Ah, ginawa mo na naman yan, number two. Yeah. Ah, ginawa mo na number six. No record of wrong. No listing. Okay? You know, it took me maybe one month. So each, each day or one week, you know, by the time it ended after that month, I could love my husband unconditionally. Even if he mm-hmm. tells me I slept with so and so, hindi na ako masasasan. Why? Because love is unconditional. And that's how God loves us. Kahit anong kalokohan na kabalasugan na ginagawa natin, God still loves us. And that's how my love was tra- transformed. And so, you know, I guess, because God was going to give us only five, four more years, we had the best four years in Paris. That's why we'll always love Paris. But why did you move back to New York, Mrs. Loida? When Mr. Lewis got sick, Oh, okay. He got sick. It was brain cancer. Oh my God. And after analysis, if he died in six weeks, because ayaw niya magpa chemotherapy, ayaw niya magradiation, kasi tinanong niya yung doctor. Mm-hmm. Okay, if I do this, will it cure me? Hindi. It will not cure him. It will just lengthen his life. So he said, no, I will seek others. And you know what? Seek others. Sa isip ko, naku, may mga faith healers sa Pilipinas. Can oh. you believe it? I got, I asked one faith healer to come to, one, to New York and see if he can cure my husband. Oh, wow. Pero alam mo, false. Wala. Ano, it's, it's a slut of hand. Sa kunyari, pinukuha niya sa bituka, yung pala, bituka ng mano. Oh, wow. Anyway, they, oh. we paid, we paid him. Dahil sa sabi ni, sabi ni Mr. Lewis, pay him, pay him. He gave me hope. At least he gave me hope. So yeah. we pay him. Wow. And then we went to Canada. Kasi nalaman namin sa Canada, meron, meron a doctor na nag-gilt ng 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C. It might cure him. Mm-hmm. Pero we were there for one week, but it did not. Oh, okay, wow. so he fell in a coma on a Sunday. And he died on a Tuesday. Oh, I know. Sakit, sakit, sakit oh, so during that time, oh, how were you and, and the children at that time? How long have you been? I'm sure until now you're still coping up, but uh, how did you guys handle it? Especially the two kids. How, how young are they? Nung time Ay, na Mrs. Loida? Mga bata pa? They were 12. My youngest was 12. And, oh. my, and Leslie was 19. Second year college. Oh, I know. I, I was too lala. I was too lala. I could not even say the Our Father. I could not answer anybody on the telephone. I was just crying and crying and crying. Napakasakit. Naka, you know, mm. parang natunala ako. Pero alam mo, during that time, I knew God will not abandon me. Mm-hmm. I, I, I love that phrase, I hold you in the palm of my hand. And then, a mother may forget the baby on her breast, but I will not forget you. So, para bang hawak ako doon, hawak ako doon. I know God will not forget, forget me. And then, slowly, 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 I was able to stand up. Para bang, Lord, help me. Para bang, I extended my hand, and there was the Lord lifting me up and mm-hmm. making me walk. And I've been walking ever since. Oh, What was the, like, every, like what is the most memorable moment uh, with Mr. Reginald, Miss Lloyd. Ay, naku, ang dami. Ang dami, dami. Ang dami. Like, yung <laughs> isang-isa talaga na parang talagang no, no, no. tumatak sa'yo. No, no, no. This one, I have to say, because when I saw Pretty Woman, yes. I, I don't know if you know that story. Pretty oh, Woman, yes. Oh, we know. Yeah, the movie. Yes. Richard Gere and, uh, you know, Ju- and, and Julia Roberts. Julia okay? Roberts. There was one time there where he said, okay, you know, here's a dress, long dress, and then, I, I, I want to show you, uh, I want to show you, basta, let's come with me. Aba, punta sila, they took the plane, and they went to San Francisco yes. just to watch the opera. Yes. And you know what? 
sabi ko, that looks familiar because that's what Mr. Lewis did. He said, okay, take me, you know, uh, uh, nito, get your suit ready, get your suitcase ready, we're going. And so for that weekend, he, we went to Austria, to Vienna, just to listen to the orchestra, the Vienna Philharmonic. Wow. Sabi ko, wow, meron yatang nakarinig ng ginawa namin. <laughs> Nakita ko sa, Mr. Lewis had already died. Sabi ko, ba, meron yatang nakarinig sa istorya ko. Oh, that's so sweet. Baka, baka ginaya pa yata kayo. Super sweet. Ginaya. Oo. Ginaya, no? Meron ba? Yes. Super sweet ba si Mr. Reginald? Ha? Huh? Who sweet are you or or Sir Reginald? No? Sino mas mas sweet sa inyong dalawa? Ah, sweet. Sweet, sweet. Ah, yes. Well, I think, I, you know, I cannot judge myself. But Mr. Lewis, ayun nga, lalo na pag nagalik siya, tapos nakita niya na mali siya. Or whether it's mali or not, basta umiyak na ako. The next, I mean, I, there will be roses the next day. O kaya, na, nasa Paris kami, isang dahil sa malamig doon, you know, a cashmere blanket. Okay? Basta, ma- alam ko from his actions that he was sorry or you know, that, that, um, that he cares. Na he, he didn't mean what happened, na nagmura siya. Alam mo naman, you know, he's black, he's a man. Ang pagmura yan, ako parang, <laughs> parang kung naliligo sa mura. Oh. But sa akin, okay, okay. Itong diferensya, I guess that's why we married for, you know, until he died. Sa akin, alam ko kung saan siya pupunta. He's going to reach for the moon. He's like a rocket ship. So, if he's going all the way to, you know, to reach the moon, we did. Yun ang kanyang sinabi na sa akin. He didn't tell me this, but his aunt told me that when he was young, he said, I want to be the richest black man in America. Mm. Okay? So if he's going to be like that, then because he is black, ang mga discrimination, bigotry, yeah, for mood, sure. you know, is so much. So when he comes home, sinong pagbubawtang hininga niya? Ako. Okay? Mm. So you just take it. It's not personal. Alam ko, hindi personal yun. So yun kaya, yung mga nagkikinig ng mga babae na merong anong slapping sweetheart, boyfriend, or asawa, you know, you have to understand what is, where are you going as a team? Team mm-hmm. you, eh. You know, you are the team. Para bang basketball or football, mm-hmm. you are a team. So, son, who is the man in the family? Who is making the big decision? If it is you, then, you know, yeah, that's the understanding. If it is the husband, then you support him. Support him all the way. Wow. Pero, Miss Louise, ito, may question dito si, ano, si, si Erno. Si Jerry. Ah, si Jerry muna. Si Jerry, what yeah. drove you to continue RFL's legacy? Dahil sa, alam ko, the African-American community in America has a very, very sordid, sad history. Slavery for 400 years. Okay? How do you take that away from the mind of, of African-Americans? Okay? Mm-hmm. My children are African American. Yes, they are Filipino, 50%. But the history of slavery in the United States is so embedded, it's so systemic, systemic mm-hmm. racism. But for him to achieve what he has achieved, people will have to know about it. African Americans should have to know about it. So I was very intent that his book be finished. Alam mo, bakit? Sakit si nagsulat? Dahil sa ako nawala na sa INS. We went to Paris. Anong gagawin sa Paris? I mean, you know, I cannot just shop every day. Sabi ko, I better write a book on immigration kasi ang dami kong alam. And that's the book, How to Get a Green Card. It's still being printed. 12th edition na ngayon. Wow. But when I was making it, when I was typing, tinuruan ako ng mga anak ko kung paano gumawa sa computer. Before he goes to office, naroon ako, typing, typing, typing. Pag narito na siya, dadaan na siya papunta sa, you know, to go to the to the door, kaya titindig ako, goodbye darling, and then I go back typing. One day, I was typing so hard, hindi ko na nakita, natapos na siya maligo, wihis na siya, pupunta siya sa opisina. And then he stopped at me as I was typing. Oh darling, yeah yeah, continue, continue. Oh, I am so envious that you are writing. I said, darling, you have a story to write. Write it. So hindi siya, hindi siya computer, ano? Legal paper. Oh wow. And so when he died, when he died, Hindi tapos, sabi ko, dapat tapusin to. 
I was able to find a writer, Blair Walker, to finish the book. And with that book, you cannot, you, you will not be able to understand it because of that book. So many people, African American men especially, their life changed. I read the book, wow. I changed my life. I just met somebody who is now a, a TV. I know you know, you know, you know, his own podcast. He has around 150, 250 listeners. And what happened? You know, paligoy ligoy nasa college, but he's not really interested in college, you know. Meron siyang girlfriend who said, do you want to come to the la- to the bookstore with me? Yeah, sure. Siyempre, you know, kasama niya yung girl, yung kanyang diniligawan. Yeah. They were in the bookstore. Nakita niya yung title. Why should white guys have all the fun? How Reginald Lewis created a billion-dollar business empire. So, kinuha niya. Nakita siya ng girlfriend niya. Do you want to buy that book? I'll give it to you as a gift. So, as soon as he read that book and he finished it in two days, he has never read the book. Alam mo naman. <laughs> he's in college, pero he's not really read it. Pagkatapos, he changed his life. He changed his life. Okay? And he's not only the one. I have met so many others who read the book and cha- and they changed their life. A woman has come to me. Same thing. Uh, 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 and a Filipino has come to me. Same thing. And a white person. A Latino person, but mostly black men. Okay, so your question, why are you so intense? Because I know if they read the book, it will change their life. We better buy that book. <laughs> Let's buy that book, Jessie. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, Oh, so, mas ano? Yeah, oh, oh, mas gusto ko nagbabasa eh. Kasi I, I wanna put yung highlights and then I'll write it down and then I'll try to at least um uh what's that, uh, think about it, what's going on and you know like at least baka mag-immerse sa akin or whatever. So anyways, Miss er, um Miss Loida, si Erno naman has a question. Sabi ni Erno, Tita Loida, I have known you for so many years since the time of Friends Indeed uh, uh Friends Indeed Incorporated. With all your major accomplishments from career to family up to your grandchildren, what else would you like to accomplish? <laughs> well, I accomplished it already. Joe Biden won. I know. Look your major that. bucket list for this major year. Your bucket list. Look at the picture, though. Yeah. No? When was this, yeah. Miss Loida? When was this? Huh? When was this? Picture? What oh, year? What year? With Joe Biden? Yes, with Joe oh, Biden. In, 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 in um, February, before the pandemic came out, he was oh. going to have a rally in Las Vegas. And you know, he was wow. training. He was like number three, number four, number five. So Las Vegas, Las Vegas I, we have to get the Asian American community to fill up the place. So I ko lahat ng mga Filipino Americans. You know, I was also NAFA president for many, for four years. So, marami akong kilala sa Las Vegas. So, I called up Gloria Cavilli. I called up Rocio Noida. I called up um, Palmonte. And, uh, basta, tawag ako. Okay? So, napuno yun lahat. But, because I was one of the organizers, yun, naku, you know, and so, siya, meron, meron kaming private, you know, lahat yung mga organizers, those who raise money for him, had, and, uh, you know, time with him, and that's where I got that picture. Wala pang COVID no. Kaya wala kaming mask. Ma'am, Ms. Florida, may... Uh-oh. Go ahead, Ms. Florida. No, no. And I was going to introduce him. So initially, I said about how, you know, I said no to Mr. Lewis, not only one time, not only two. I said three times. I said, no, I don't want to see you again. And so when he came, sabi, so when he came, well, when Loya was talking about saying no three times to her future husband, I had to confess. Jill Biden, Jill, uh, I think, her, I can't remember, Jill, Dr. Jill, said no to me. I don't want to have a date with you five times. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Ms. Loida, um, I remember, uh, I forgot to ask this question during our interview with with uh, Tito Boy Abunda. Like, ang question ko talaga nun is, like, you're, you're already famous. You have everything. Like, um, 
you're well off. You're you're very um. Was that a you're 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 an achiever person and you've achieved everything that and everyone that would think about like ako um yun yung dream ko eh, na ma achieve yung na achieve mo. But ang question lang is why are you still you know like doing this like helping let's say um the Biden um. A party, the Biden campaign, Hillary. Like instead of you, just like you know, like just have fun and go to different places and travel the world and have fun with your family. But why are you doing all this this advocacy? Well, you know, to one who has given much, much is expected. So that's in the Bible. But within my own self, I have never been saying ito na lang. I mean, you know, it's service. One has to serve. I mean. God has given me so many, so many things, mm-hmm. resources, talent. So why will I just keep it to myself? Hindi ba? May parable. Here is ten talents for you. Here is five talents for you. Here is one talent for you. And the ten talents, he doubled it. The one who was given five talents, he doubled it. The one who was given one talent, buried it. He buried it. Mm-hmm. And our Lord was very pleased. So para sa atin, we have so many resources. We have so many. I mean, you know, we have talents and all that. Why keep it all to yourself? True, okay? True. Do it in service of others. Because there are many others who are not as privileged or as, as fortunate. So, don't you have... Hindi ba? Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay? And the higher standard is love one another as I have loved you. So, yeah. how is that? Okay? And then, isa pa. Okay? Go away from me. I was thirsty, and you did not give me drink. I was hungry, and you did not feed me. And then the other, the positive is, come, my kingdom. I was hungry, and you fed me. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was shel- sh- homeless, and you gave me shelter. I was in prison, and you visited me. I was sick, and you helped me. You know? So, lahat yan, itawag doon corporal works of mercy. But really, honestly, Jesse and uh, Jekas. Okay, ikaw, matitiis mo ba na wala kang gagawin kung di puro lahat sa iyo? True, Ay, hindi true, mo true. Matitiis. Tayo mga Pilipino, alam mo, mahal na mahal tayo abroad when we go abroad. Mm-hmm. Lahat, everywhere I go. Kasi yung Filipino, you know, my mother was sick and she was taken care of by a wonderful nurse. My, my, my wife got pregnant and her I mean, um, OBGYN was so good. I mean, we Filipinos are known for that. We are mm. kind. And, you know, me, 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 malasakit. Mm. Malasakit ang tawag doon? Malasakit, yes. Malasakit, yes. Malasakit, yes. Okay? Compassion. Yan ang alam natin. Tayong mga Pilipino. So, when you ask me, bakit hindi ka nalamang mag-travel-travel, ay, naku, just go. Of course, we travel. Yes. But, you know, life is not Life is not like that. I mean, you should not just think of akin, akin, eto kami lang. Hindi mm-hmm. naman, no? Ang pangit nun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pangit that's nun. so true. And if you have the sources, why not, right? And Jesse, ang nakakasakit ng loob ay sa Pilipinas. Na marami tayong leaders na sarili lang nilang naiisip. Ang daming, Jesus Mario, si Pito nilang bagyo. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah, sa katandaanis, parang sinamaan ng atomic bomb. It was that yeah. strong. In Albay, you know, ay nakuha ko so strong. And, anong ginawa ng ating gobyerno? Binawasan ang budget para sa mga ganyang disaster. Linagay sa discretionary fund. Anong klaseng, anong klaseng puso yan? Anong klaseng malasakit? Yan ang mga sakit ng puso ko. Miss Loida, yes, uh, so, uh, yes. you're, you are, I think you're the epitome of really the go-getter. I can see it right now, listening, yes, to, just so yes. I'm so inspired. And you are a true work for, workhorse. You do everything. You have your businesses. And you also help a lot of Filipinos around the world. Very compassionate. Do, uh, do, you, do you ever relax? And if you do, what do you do for relaxation? I'm just wondering. Well, I have a good friend here, Dr. Andrew Cruz. He always have discount tickets for Broadway. Ah! So I love Dr. Andrew Cruz. Ah, you love Ulan and Broadway. Ah, yeah. Discount. I don't. I try not to pay the full price. 
Oh. Are you just like us then? We, we always look for the discount. We love Broadway. We watch Broadway. <laughs> we love Broadway. Okay. Yun nga lang, it's, it's not, it's, it's gone Sige, for now. Na for now. Ms. Lloyd, a question. Um, kasi, uh, I know you're very compassionate. You love helping others. You never thought about entering the politics? Kahit I even, never just thought. Hindi no, that's, what, that's what my father's plan for me. And maybe if I never married I died in the Philippines, I would enter politics. I mean, here. But now, now, here, no, because politics for me is so thankless job. You try to do the best you can, you know, people will still say bad things about you. And besides, I, what I, and then you're always fundraising. Don't enter politics. Just, mm-hmm. para sa akin, Bloomberg is the best. Be as rich as you are, and then going to politics. Because then, wala ka ng vested interest. You don't have to think, Ay, naku, how, will I, my, how will my family uh, go to good how can my children go to the good college ang mahal-mahal? Mm-hmm. So, hope it dito, hope it don't, hope it don't. True, true, true. That's smart, All that's right. smart. Yeah, that's so, why tumutulong na lang kayo. Uh, so, no, Miss yeah. Miss Lloyd, may tanong si Derek. Sabi niya, tanong mo nga kung may naliligo ba ngayon kay Miss Lloyd? <laughs> ah, ayan, intrigahin Ayaw, natin si Miss Lloyd. Are you, are you, are you um, open for another relationship? Or, uh, or... Maraming nag-aambisyon. Maraming ah! nag-aambisyon. <laughs> Kinilig ako, oh my God. Are you sure ako na kinilig? <laughs> ano plano? No, so, no, no, no. Pero para sa akin, you know, I, I, you know I'm a one-man woman. There is only oh. one man in my life, Reginald Lewis. Oh. And now, I had five grandchildren. I so if you're asking, what else is there to do that my grandchildren grow up as, you know, compassionate, kind, achieving, you know, and and someone who will accomplish their dream. Yeah, yan ang aking kwan. So, so uh, ako ang, <laughs> well, because the COVID, uh, the COVID hit, hindi naka first communion, instruction yung aking uh, si Calvin, mm-hmm. my eight-year-old grandson. So, ako ang naging instruction teacher. And I loved it. Ang tawag nila, nanay time. So, Aww, that's the Sweet. Nanay time. Yes, 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 yes. And my best, you know, talagang God answers prayer. Because, you know, although I, when I was, uh, when the children, when Leslie and Ke- Christina were growing up, I wasn't spiritual. Dahil sa nasa go-getter kami. So, hindi ko sila na like talaga nabigyan ng religious instruction. Mm-hmm. But, just lately, what did Christina tell me? Mom, at night, we pray together. Wow! Diyos ko po! Sumaksa ang puso ko. But my daughter is teaching my grandchildren, her children, how to pray at night. Yeah, wow. true. God, answered prayer. Sinabi ko sa'yo eh, put your trust in the Lord and things will happen. That is so true. Ako firm believer talaga ako niyan. But Miss Lloyd, question, are you the type of uh, uh, mother na, and grandma now na do you spoil your kids? Or you, and your grandkids? Uh, are you a spoiler? Spoil? Yes. No, I, they're already, no, I spoiled in the sense that uh, I don't buy them. I mean, you no, know, I buy them. I, for their birthday, lately, I, I just give them money because they have everything. Kupo, ang dami-dami nilang regalo. I know. Them in For sure. You know, they don't need that money. And so, what I want to, to leave to them are values. Values. Mm-hmm. Because you may have mm-hmm. all the money in the world. Parehan itong ating presidenting apat na taon tayong naghirap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry sure. about that. Uh-huh. But, <laughs> but, kailangan value. That's the mm-hmm. best gift that you can give to your children. Or if you have no children, to your nieces and nephews. Okay? Values. The values of hard sure. work. The values of common sense, the values of thrift, okay, how to handle money, the values of faith in God, and the value of service, kalimutan to. Service. Of course, the service, okay? yeah. Yun ang, mas mag, yun ang kayamanan na tunay na dapat i- ihandog sa ating mga apo. Embed mo. Ms. Lord, was there any um uh, time na parang you, you had a what if in your life? You know, like, yung mga what if, like, I what, I should it. have done this, I should have done that. Yeah, in your life. Alam mo, alam mo, I guess that's why, that's why I sleep well. Dahil sa, I don't ever want to say, I regret. Mm. I regret. Okay? 
was, there was one na hindi ako nanalo sa, sa contest sa Bicol. You know, meron, meron kaming Bicol Association mm-hmm. a competition in when I was growing up in college, in high school, and I was the contestant for essay. Hindi ako nanalo. Nakukuha si, ang iyak ko. But, <laughs> Parang yun lang ang aking ano, that I did not win. Oh my Perfectionist eh. <laughs> Perfectionist. Oh, Miss Loida. Can you, yeah. uh, I'm, so, um, but now, whatever it is that I decide, I really try my best. Yeah. Because I'm not going to win. That's okay? true. Okay, so no regrets. I have no regrets. No regrets. No regrets. Miss Loida, uh, um, I'm wondering, can you walk me through your typical day? Oo nga eh. Wake, wake us, when you wake yes. up in the morning, yung ganyan. Ano yung ginagawa oh, mo oh. Una, una? When I wake up, when I wake up in the morning, when I got, you know, myself together, so I have Zen practice, 15 minutes. 15 minutes meet, means I sit. I sit on a, I call it, nakaluhod ka pero nakaupo ka. And then, okay. I style it for 15 minutes of being quiet. Just breathing in, breathing out, one. Breathing it, bringing out two. Your mind will go somewhere, but once you catch yourself, go back to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go back to one, two, three for 15 minutes. And what does it do? It centers you, because during that time that you are aware of that moment, you touch God in a way, and God touches you. So it clarifies your mind. Siyempre, ang daming mga iniisip, ganito, ganyan, ganito, ganyan. Pero in the end, you will gather wisdom. Okay? Because you're not, you, you know, you're quiet. Be still and know that I am God. Okay, that's one. Katapos noon, I read the Holy Mass for the day. And I, mm-hmm. I subscribe to this magazine, The Word Among Us. There is always one passage there. That, that is my reflection. And I have a journal. I've been keeping a journal since Mr. Lewis died. So journal every day I wrote, I write what happened the day before. First a little reflection, praying to God, and then I write what happened the day before, yesterday, ganito ganyan. It is really my own form of examination of conscience, but really I write what made me happy, what made me sad, consolation, desolation. But I am, you know, I am a uh, positive person, so usually things that made me happy, only when there are some regrets, regrets meaning to say, I did this, nakasigaw ako, na I was un- unkind. Parang ganon. Mm-hmm. Siya may make of conscience. And so that's the day. Katapos, and then I go about my day. And then if I can, yoga. Okay, I have to have some exercises. Because uh, if you don't, uh, your your bones will uh, atrophy. I don't do yoga every time. Siguro mga once a week. Okay? Mm-hmm. And then, you know, your bath, dress up, and then go to now, I have not gone to the office since March. Oh, yeah. Because of the yeah. pandemic. Uh-huh. Okay? But somehow, and dami kong ginagawa. I know. Ang dami kong ginagawa. <laughs> and then, at the end, when I am in bed, thank you, Lord. 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 I go over the day, but just thank. Thank God. And then, I'm asleep. Mahimbing ang tulog. Wow. Kompleto eight hours yun. Oh, ini-imagine ko eh. Oo, ini-imagine ko yung ano mo, yung day mo. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think this, ano, two hours na ito. <laughs> Oo nga. <laughs> Ay, oh my God, two hours na pala. Oh. Naku, oh my God. Sorry, Mrs. Louis. Oh, Nag-enjoy talaga kami. Kulang pa nga eh. Mrs. Louis, pagka nag- I hope we, we, like, we're really crossing our fingers and praying that we will, we can meet you in person. No? Yeah, special. Oh, yes. I mean, pandemic. Yes, we will but, have dinner. We will oh, have dinner. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh God, We're we, excited. We cannot wait. We cannot wait. Mrs. Loida, uh-huh. maano naman, last last um, message mo sa mga sa listeners and viewers o mga fans mo all over the world. So, thank you to New York. I am campaigning again Ay. for Ray McGuire. He is not a politician. He is an executive in Citibank, but he came from poor family, single mother. And so he rose up. Beautiful story. And then for the leader, for the Filipino Americans all over the United States, just, you know, go back to God if you are not close to God, and then set your course. What do you want to do for the next five years, or even for one year? Okay, write it down and keep a journal. 
And for the Filipinos in the Philippines, ay naku, Diyos ko, kawawang kawawa ang mga Pilipino sa Pilipinas. Naghihirap na mabisi. You know, I know that the President Duterte has 80% approval rating. But, on 2022 May, isipin naman nyo, sino ang tunay na taong walang hindi maangkin, na hindi corrupt, true, na hindi true. magtanakap. Isipin nyo mabuti kayong na kayong nahihirapan dyan sa Manila. Isipin nyo mabuti. At for me, I am for Lenny Robredo. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Salamat. Salam. Alam mo Miss Loida, may mga nagtatanong pa rito eh pero sige dahil I know it's it's too ano. Ano hin na lang um i-message niyo na lang, keep it for next time because we want to have like a uh, we Yes. Wanna, we want to have a part 2 and uh, hopefully like face to face na. We'll sit down oh. with Face na para hindi para hindi alam mo ay ano dahil Medyo nahirapan akong kunin ng chrome, kunin ng... I know, I know, chrome. I know. Sige. <laughs> next time, next time, Miss Loida will tour us around her beautiful home. Thank Maraming yes. salamat, Miss Loida. Thank you, thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay. Oh, Jcast, come on. Close it. Close oh, it. We'll oh. just close it, uh, Miss Loida. Uh, guys, don't forget to share uh, this conversation. Thank you for eavesdropping with us. And of course, uh, don't forget to like us and uh, subscribe in Facebook over a glass or two, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, is um, Miss Lloyd, are you still there? What? Wala na no. Wala na no. Seriously? Okay. All right. Well, anyway, I just um, <laughs> we just want to thank everyone who uh, who's listening right now and thank you. And also, thank... Big thanks to Miss Lloyda Nicholas Lewis. Alam mo bakit? And Edwin, um, of course. And Edwin for Edwin, for assisting yes. her. Kasi alam mo bakit? Even if we're having the difficult uh, technical difficulty earlier, tapos yun nag na planchado na na audio na lang. Kahit audio lang te, we're I all know, like, I know. and we're all glued Very and like. Inspiring story. I was. Oh I was, my god! I want. I want to know more. I you was know. With her yes. Oh my god. So, but I think Dibale. this is. But I think this is, uh, blessing in in this guys. Or blessing in the sky. <laughs> Kasi, alam bakit? Kasi, or, sinabi niya, diba? Sinabi niya, part two and face to face. Oh my God. We would, ano ko, abangan natin lahat yan. So, we'll make sure we'll write down all the questions that we we, we didn't get a chance to ask Miss Loida. Yeah, and we'll so, ask her, like, face to face interview. Dahil talagang, andang, um, sobrang mabulaklak ng kanyang buhay. Diba? Yes, definitely. Talagang marami tayong gusto malaman pa. Thank you, Miss Loida, for inspiring us Thank for tonight so and you. this morning. Diba? Yes. Oh, da okay. Dahil dyan, magtitoast natin si Miss Loida. Miss oh, Loida. If, you have, I, uh, if you're drinking with us, please raise your glass. Yes. <laughs> okay, ito pa. Ay, teka, before ka magbabay, again, uh, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Maagang maaga! Miss everything. It's 9 a.m. in the in the East Coast. And sa West Coast, just po, madaling araw pa yun. But in the Philippines, it's 10 p.m. Uh, patok so, na patok. Abangan nyo po, yeah, uh, one of the the ano, uh, internet sensation na maraming maraming nag-aabang talagang nire-request nila to. So, if you want to learn more about Miss Everything, please stay tuned tomorrow. Yes. Okay, Jekas, go! Yes, thank you again, Miss Loida. We love you yes, and thank you love everyone you. for joining uh, this conversation. Remember, guys, amidst the pandemic, let's find ways to be happy. Let's talk about it over, over a, glass a glass or two. two. Cheers, Jesse. Cheers, bye. Cheers everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye. bye, bye guys. Nice. Thank, Thank you. you for tuning in.